Welcome back to the lab Saturday. Small technical hitch today. The car that we want to work on today uh, is kind of stuck in the air because we can't get that one out of the way because there's another one behind that. That's on axle stands, which is not a big deal. Five, ten minutes and that would be on the ground. The, the problem there is the vehicles that are outside have been shuffled around, so we can't get the vehicle that's in front of the workshop door out of the way to get the Z32 out of the way, to get the BMW out of the way, to get the march down onto the ground to do what we want to do on the march. So I was kind of hoping there'd be some parts for the BMW today. There was a glimmer of hope there. And there are some parts for the BMW today that I went and got from our mate Calvin at the Cartoon Company. Unfortunately, we've forgotten the important parts that I really, really, really wanted for that. So we can't really do much on that. The parts for the Z32, they should have been here on Friday. They should have been 4 o'clock yesterday. Couriers. Nah. Don't know where they are. They've left where they needed to leave on time. They haven't got here. So, can't do anything on that one. What I really need is a step ladder. <laughs> we, can, we can lower that down a little bit. If we carefully bring the march down, I want to do that, um, the radiator overflow tank, that there, I've decided that's not big enough, not worried about weight for things like that, they need to work properly, I've, I've decided this is not of enough volume for the volume of water that's in the system, simple physics, you have more water in the engine cooling system, when it expands, the same rate that it normally expands there's more water there so you get more water going into your coolant overflow bottle so it needs to be bigger more volume more big you know i've got a magic wand and i can just harry potter one of these things out of the way to get to that would be nice it's um it is reading accurately today. It is a bit late in the day and we haven't achieved anything. Although you may have noticed. That, I mean, actually, no, you probably didn't. But that's a little bit cleaner. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Thanks, Harry. Cool. Right. Now, the other day I was talking about. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, a bit harder to find than I thought it would be. That was going to be a good prank until... Oh, come on. It's weeing everywhere. Uh, the other day I was talking about this maybe not being big enough. It kind of lives there. That'll do. That's where it goes. And that normally goes to there. And I thought we could make something that goes in here. And before you make something like that, you've got to figure out if it's actually going to work. So we need to do the maths on how much volume we've got in here and we need to measure this up and we need to do the maths on how much volume we would have there. Now obviously we've got a frame, we've got a tank. You probably would want to line it up with the end of the fuel tank and run it vertical like that. You wouldn't want to scoot out to the side to make it look nice. You're going to have a little bit of room for a cap at the top so the the front piece has got to fold over at the top, It'll be flat, and we can steal that one, put that on top, that'll be alright. And we've got to figure out how much distance we can have this way, because that comes down, and it's quite close to that. So I'm going to do that first, and make sure this is actually going to work out worthwhile, because there's no point in doing it if we end up with the same volume as that. There's a proper way to do the maths, or there's the cheats way, because it's a triangle, and it's going to be pretty close to 45 degrees here. So that's about 300 from there to there. That's about 300 from there to there. We're just doing rough maths, right? So you just divide that one in half. Call it 300 by 150. And that would make the difference if it went straight through like that. Without the piece off. It's actually going to be slightly more than what this calculation is going to give us. And the, the angles look a bit funny on the camera. But anyway, we can go six centimetres thick. Here I am talking millimetres and then centimetres. Um, 
30 centimeters, 15 centimeters, and then six centimeters thick because this comes down quite close. But we can actually abbreviate this so we can, we can lop a little bit off the end of it if we want to to help out with what I'm doing. So someone's having a lot of fun out there somewhere. That times that times that is um, 2.7 liters basically. I don't know what's going on out there. Someone's having some fun, whatever. Uh, so 2.7 litres, without getting too carried away, it'll probably be more than that. It'll be 3 litres. I reckon that's more than what that'll hold there. Um, simple way to figure that out. Two ways. Weigh it, put it at zero, fill it up with fluid, weigh it again. It tells you exactly how much you've got, or just do the maths, which is the equation for a cylinder which I don't remember off the top of my head there's like pi r squared or something like that times distance or whatever it is uh, and that, that's not 2.7 liters in there I guarantee that's not 2.7 liters so we'll be better off to do me fancy tank thing so now I've got to that's quite distracting that noise so now I've got to figure out how I'm going to shape it so it looks nice something a little bit like that some things to happen obviously this is I mean there's only one piece of it right so it's going to sit in there like that. Looks like the angles are about right. Mm, pretty close. So it's got to sit in front of the fuel tank. So something there ish. That should look pretty nice. Obviously, it's got to have a fitting somewhere for the fluid to come in and out at the bottom. We can tuck that on the other side of this. And it's got to have a cap on the top get fluid in and out we can put a little tube on that assuming we're going to be we should be clear of that by the time we come out that far yeah so we can put a, a short little tube on an angle and the top done so let's make the rest of that and a couple of brackets to get it on we are going to run out of day although i can work fast sometimes that definitely could look worse it's not terrible the bonnet sort of closes it does hit this if um if i trim a bit off this edge i need to about here somewhere in fact that little white mark is probably from it touching somewhere there might be a black mark on that but we'll just trim that off that'll be fine and i'm going to make up my mind what i'm doing with brackets to attach this to that but this we're not going to be able to do that today because it's that o'clock but i might put the filler neck on there I reckon I can get that sorted in the time frame that we've got I've already put a hole there's a hole down here we'll run the tube from there I don't know out of the way is nice I'm, I guess we'll tuck it along the edge of here and down and it'll look tidier than what it did when it came off there and went over there to a big tank in the middle of nowhere there yes not disappointed so far that's coming along all right um i've either got to find another one of these or or hack that one off there in the lathe carefully nicely and find a suitable bit of tube to go from here onto our tank so that we can have the cap sitting nice and level cool that's looking good i'm happy with that no oh, angles are not quite perfect at the moment are they angles of the dangles yeah there you go so i guess we better fill it up with water and make sure it holds the 2.7 liters that i reckoned it would do not that it matters it's pretty much guaranteed it's going to be more than what the other one was it is a bit late so let's do that and i I think it's dinner time. Should we do the easy one first? I think we'll do... Nice round figure. Oh, of course, there's bits missing. That's zero. Fill out the water. Oh, I said this was the easy one, didn't I? What do we reckon? 
I reckon like 1.3 litres. Oh, not even a litre. That's amazing, isn't it? 870 mils that holds. Good, that's going to empty itself. Uh, this might leak quite a bit because we've just got tape over a fitting there. So that's a little bit heavier than what the other one was. That's zeroed. Oh, it's going to be hard to fill it. I'll get told off for making a mess in the laundry. Oh yeah, that's got some weight to it. Two point seven kgs, I reckon. Day uh, two point seven liters. <laughs> oh. It turned off. It's zeroed. Hang on. Oh, I think I was right on the money though. Uh, how are we going to do this? Okay, so we have to... I'm sure I saw it get to 2.7. We've got a drop of water on it and it's zeroed it. 3. 360. It's going to be quite hard to do. Oh, wait. Yeah. I'm not panning. Honestly, this is. I'm trying to get this done so you can see it. What we need to do. That's, that's now full. That's maximum capacity. Right. Zero. Okay. Now we get rid of the water. Make you want to go to toilet? I think before the drop of water hit on our on our button there, you see that? That stuffed it up. But I think it was exactly 2.7 litres. Exactly. Um, and then the drop of water stuffed it all up for us. So when this says minus something, that's what we've taken out of it, which was the volume of water. Yeah, 2.7 litres. This is just like 15 grams in it, but that's because there's still some water on it, right? Mean. Apparently I passed my math test. Okay, guys. That's it. You're like, there's some artwork for you. Beautiful. All right, tomorrow I'm going to do some, we'll do some brackets, we'll attach that to the car and seeing as I'll put the Z32 on the ground and we can get that out and back in, out and back in, it'll come back in tonight, so don't try and steal it from the driveway, it won't be there. Uh, we can do some other things tomorrow, there may be the diffuser thing that I was supposed to be doing, which we never would have had time for today. All right, cheers, boy!